So in one tenth of the space, we got exactly 50% of yeah. the yield. Yeah. <laughs> Those are not my friends. Potato beetles are evil. You spawn of the devil. There's Way a easier. Few more. Okay. Well, today is one of the best days and somewhat disappointing days on the homestead. <laughs> <laughs> We're harvesting our potatoes. And in our previous videos, you saw we did a couple different methods. We did a straight direct sow, and then we did the Ruth Stout method. Not Ruth Bader Ginsburg? Not Ruth Bader Ginsburg? No, she died. Um, maybe that's why we buried it. <laughs> uh, that's dark. I'm insensitive. We already pulled six pounds yesterday, and we got so excited we kept pulling. That was from two plants. Those plants were from the Ruth Stout area. So we're gonna show you a side-by-side -side comparison. Now, the ground that we planted in was plowed four to six inches, disked twice, hand tilled, and then we dug our rows for the potatoes. And it's still so hard that I don't think we're gonna get much out of it. We also then ended up with a potato beetle plight. Blight, plight, plague, or for days we were picking potato beetles off. And that wasn't fun. So, we wanted to give you some definitive proof about the Ruth Stout method, side by side, in the same type of soil as our direct sow potatoes. We'll see what happens. So these are our two Ruth Stout beds, one here and the one over there. This is the plant that we got, the two plants that were over here that we got five, six pounds worth of yesterday. And then in this very same area, you can see the other potato plants, or maybe you can't, the grass is so crazy, that we direct sowed. Yes, there's a lot of grass, but you can see our mounding and our valleys and how few potato plants are actually left. But there are some here, they look pretty good, and we have no idea if there's anything in the ground at all in these. We haven't tried any of them yet. First things first, planted in hay. Starting to. There's one. There's one. I will say harvesting in hay is significantly oh easier. Oh so much easier. Oh, hey, that's a big one. Look at that. That's a good one. So really all we've done is pulled back the hay. Way a easier. Few more. Okay. Oh, with a potato beetle on the ground. Those are not my friends. Potato beetles are evil. You spawn of the devil. Spawn. So you can see we probably didn't tent enough or mound enough with the hay. We should have done more. And if we'd have done more, we probably would have ended up with more than hash brown potatoes. Yeah. It's an experimental year though. For those of you who are new to the channel, this is our first year here on this property. And our first year growing well, anything here. We've grown potatoes a few times, but it's they were... In compost beds. They, yeah, compost, raised beds where the soil and conditions were all... Perfect. ...whatever you wanted them to be. <laughs> yeah, growing potatoes is easy. <laughs> I don't know why you guys have such a hard That's time. That's a hard time. But we're there trying to grow like... them like a staple crop this year, which is... There's a root going down in there. Yeah, I bet you there's so a potato. I'm wondering. It's very hard. It is. You want to get the... Yeah. Now I will say, with the amount we've pulled up, if we were Irish, we would starve. <laughs> you could see there are little seed potatoes already thrown out more. Yeah. Might replant that. We could replant that. Clay soil will test your character. <laughs> Is that just a, it's just a... Just a clod. Great. Clod hopper. All right, on to, this is a... Could you pull that? I don't have my clothes on. Let me pull it. <laughs> you can see we still have potato beetles on here. They had a resurgence, actually. They were they were almost gone. Here's another stabby stabby. Yep. They were almost gone, and then I've started seeing them again. The birds, I guess, moved on. They weren't gonna help me anymore. Jeez. Yeah, this is throwing out new ones, too. Might have waited a bit long. There's a few little, but that's growing new, so we could try to replant. Okay. If you want. You can do two potato harvests or potato plantings in Virginia if you're careful. 
According to my Growing in Virginia book. According to the Growing in Virginia book. So you can see we have potatoes on here. They small. just did not get oh, there's some deep enough. Look at that. Much deeper. That's a pretty good. We need much deeper hay. So we need deeper hay. Deeper hay should allow these to grow more maturely. Right now they're like me, very immature. It's <laughs> <laughs> a crazy little bit of truth you just said. Well, you know, we're honest on the on the thing with the stuff and the people. <laughs> See that sea potato? Also didn't growing. do a thing. Didn't do anything. Oh wait, but it's no, growing oh, again. Look, look. I lied. I shot out to the side. There's a root here too, but it looks like it just goes into the dirt. Uh, good feeling about this guy. This guy's huge. Deeper, Look at this. Deeper hay. Deeper hay. Yeah, I mean, that you can, guys can see this is only a couple inches. Now, it was five or six inches deep, I think, when we put it down, yeah. but it's been rained on and everything else, and I didn't come back didn't and replace add. it as I should. But right. this is the first time we've ever used this method, so if you're thinking about using it, I recommend it. It is worth a try. Of course, we haven't also checked our other side yet, so maybe we'll be immensely surprised with all the potatoes. Oh, here's all a the, good one. I, look at that. I highly doubt it. Highly doubt it. These were all just grocery store potatoes because our farm store had a delayed supply of seed potatoes. So we stopped waiting. And just planted. And just planted what we could find. I will say, when we talked about this in the video where we were planting it, I was concerned about the cost of the hay, or the straw, or the whatever. There's a couple ways around that. If you have grass clippings, grass clippings work. Um, you can use leaves from your forest. Just about any type of, look at that, it's sad. Uh -huh. Any type of organic loose material like this will work. But I also discovered, that one of my farming friends has old straw and hay and stuff that didn't sell from the year before that you can get a, toad. a toads in here yeah. <laughs> at an extremely discounted rate. So that might make it worth the purchase price as it were, in some cases, free. Just make sure it doesn't have graze on on it. Which we did verify. We did verify. He does not use Grazon. Thank you, my friend. Whoa. But it's putting on, look at this. Hmm. What, what is that? I've never seen that before. I have. Uh, help us, YouTube. I have never seen a potato do this. It looks like it's growing potatoes like squash or something. <laughs> so, in the comments below, tell me what, tell me what it means. What, is what it does mean? this what mean? What did we do wrong? So this is one of the bigger potato plants. Let's see what we have over here. See if anything grew in our concrete. We were hoping that the root would help break up the soil, but that does not seem to be the case. The soil seems to have broken up our plants. So there's our, there's our seed potato. And there's the potato that's about a quarter of the size of the seed potato. Oh my gosh. That was a Dad. not worthwhile investment. Except for the joy of learning. Look at that. <laughs> Maybe I spoke too soon, but I doubt it. This one had two good sized potatoes, but that was like it. I mean, it has two little, very, very little ones, but it actually had two moderately sized potatoes. Well, harvesting them is almost as big a pain in the butt as putting them in. After the potato blight, I really thought we were not gonna get anything. Yeah, not blight, bugs. So the fact that, there's a rotted one. Anything that's coming out is encouraging. It's a lot of effort for a couple of potatoes. We're about three quarters of the way done harvesting. This is the little mound that I've pulled out so far. 
from our in-ground. Those are the Ruth Stout. And then Mrs. Flannel has a basket down here as well. We will have a final weigh-in for you, but here's what we've learned so far. Raising potatoes in raised beds and compost is a whole lot easier than direct sowing into the ground. At our previous house, we grew about 20 pounds in 19 square feet. But when you have perfectly soft soil that's draining and has all the nutrients you need, and you can just pluck a weed out every now and then, it's really easy. Direct sowing into ground you've never done before, a bit more complicated. So we have spent, well, let's see, it took at least a day to prepare it, about a day to plant it. We probably spent at least two full eight hour days picking potato beetles off. And now we've spent probably a couple hours in here harvesting for what looks like about 25 pounds of potatoes. <laughs> that doesn't include the uh, probably five gallons of diesel to plow and disc in here. So if you watch my Ruth Stout video, I was a little skeptical about how much you would have to pay for in straw or hay. But when you add up all of that time and effort and money that we spent in diesel and in potatoes and in time, I think it's definitely worth it. We'll give you an actual weigh-in here in the end. But root stout method for bulk planting potatoes gets my vote. We're learning though. That's what makes this valuable is we're learning. So next year, we're going to harvest at least 40 pounds of potatoes. <laughs> it wasn't a potato harvest. It was a no-tato harvest. You tato Few tato harvest. So, this basket here, it's our Ruth Bader Ginsburg method. These were our not direct sown. To give you an idea, this is probably 600 square feet. And the place that we grew, the Ruth Stout, it's probably 60, maybe, maybe 60 square feet. This little bed here, and this little bed here. So in terms of calories expended for calories returned, not worth it. For learning, totally worth it. So we're gonna plant a second season harvest of potatoes. We've already laid out our seed potatoes. And we're hoping they germinate here shortly. We're going to do them all Ruth Stout style. So these are our from 600 square feet or so. How many pounds do we have? 33 pounds. 33 pounds. So we spent $40 to save 30. <laughs> <laughs> can't put a price tag on learning. You can't. It's organic. <laughs> Nine. Nine pounds. Nine plus the six pounds. Nine plus six is 15 pounds and 30 pounds. So in one tenth of the space, we got exactly 50% of the yeah. yield. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so note to self and anybody else who's watching, the root stop method is totally worth it. So if we would have planted 120 square feet, theoretically, we would have had the same amount of potatoes as we got out of 600 square feet direct sow, making the mounds out of dirt, as opposed to hay, straw, stubble, whatever. So there you go, definitive proof, at least in our yard. <laughs> Ruth Stout is better. Thanks for joining us, thanks for growing with us. I hope you learned from our hours and hours and hours of effort that turned into a small yield. But here's the thing, for those of you who have already subscribed, next year, you're gonna see a massive potato harvest because of what we learned. We'll see you next time, bye. Oh, you see Mr. Big Man. Come hey, on. buddy. Come on. Hi, hey, Bruce. Come on. Good boy. Come on. <laughs> Come on. You almost there. It's hard. Come on. You did it before. It's okay. Almost. Come here. I'll get you.
You're on YouTube, Bruce. <laughs> Where everybody says, put him back. Oh no, you're chickens. Yeah. You little scoundrel. We know.